Well, welcome to the season finale of Addictive Fishing. You know, this year has been just a blockbuster year. We've caught a lot of big fish and also had a lot of first on the show for Addictive Fishing once again. Me and my wife, Carrie, we're just sitting here chilling out, thinking about what we're gonna fish for next year. And on this show, we're gonna take a look back at 2013 and show you some of our favorite scenes. Mine happens to be, everybody knows my favorite fish to catch is a sea trout. We finally busted the double digit number this year down in Vero Beach with Captain Christian Jurgens. Just a killer show and a great big sea trout. Y'all check this out. Blair, you see this edge right here in front of us? Yeah. You got it. Just, you wanna cast up pretty far and about 15 feet up on it and make it come off that edge. It might have just come off that drop off where it turns to the dark. Whatever's cruising on that edge feeding, ought to hammer it. There you go. Just looks like a bait fish coming, falling off that edge, and they just swoop them right up. Well, let's hope so. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. That's a yeah. serious fish yeah. there, boy. Yeah. Nice. You're going to put the talon down. All right. Talon down. Oh, it's a it's trout, down. dude. That is? Jeez. That's a trout. Oh, man, that's a big one. That is a Take trout and a half. Oh, gosh. Oh. Woo, that's come big here, trout. big boy. Nice. Captain Christian Ergen says, just keep tossing it, brother. He'll hit it, he'll hit it. Look at that fish. Nice work. That is a monster trout, fellas. That's the biggest trout I think we got on the show so far. We'll just tire him out, tucker him out. And hopefully. Yeah, that's a good one. Told you I was gonna get one on this stick. Yeah. We have been throwing all day long, all day long, and finally, we got one of these big boys to connect. Whew. Come here, dude, come here. That is a serious fish there. Come here, come here. Oh. Y'all ready for this one? How about that for a sea trout? Nice fish. Is that pretty or wet, brother? Oh, man, that's a good one. Hey, pull it out at the end of the day with a big old trout like that. Nice. Ready. Let me get that hook out of there. Don't clamp down on me. That trail car did his job, brother. One more time. That right there is what you come to Vero Beach for, home of the world record trout. What was it, 17 pounds, 17, 17 ounces? Yeah. That Big right fish. there is a monster, an absolute monster. Gator. Is that a beautiful yellow mouth or that what? It is, man. They got the red and everything in there. Nice. Got a gator teeth in the front. What a fish. That is Pretty. a beautiful specimen of a trout right there. Thick back on her. Thick. Mm -hmm. Nine, ten pounds? Yeah. Woo! There. That's the way to do it. That's a good one, Blair. Good job. That is what you come to Vero Beach. Ooh, there Ooh. he goes. Guess he was ready, huh? Yeah. That, brother, was one awesome fish. Let me show you guys what I got him on. Brand new from DOA in 2013. It's called the Airhead. One awesome new bait from DOA right there. And there ain't nothing that gets me going off more than those big trout like that. I'm just, I'm shaking like a leaf. Was that an awesome sea trout or what? It only took us about 14 years to finally break that double digit mark with a sea trout. And the crazy thing about that, Mark Nichols had just come out with that new airhead bait and it was the very first time I've ever thrown it and actually whacked that 10 pound trout. What an awesome little bait. If you ever get a chance to use one, highly recommend it. Up next, some more scenes from the 2013 season, what we're calling the finale. How long do you let him run? About that long? About that long. There he is. You got him, Blair. <laughs> Woo, job. look at him, he's a sailfish. Good job, good job. Yeah. Well, welcome back to the season finale of Addictive Fishing. 
You know, one of the craziest trips that we had this year was down in Stewart. We were fishing with Sam Heaton from Johnson Outdoors, and I tell you what, Sam Heaton is just a riot to fish with. Another first on the show that I'm talking about, not one, not two, but three sailfish, and also had a double on too. Some crazy action, hope y'all enjoy this one as well. Something's a chewing on that. Right there, something chewing on that one, dude. He's got it, Sam. How long do you let him run? About that long? About that long. There he is. You got him, Blair. Good Woo, job. Look at him, he's a sailfish. Good job, good job. Let's chase him. I'm gonna have to get up front on this one. He's screaming. Jumping, jumping. Good jump. Oh yeah. There you go, buddy. Woo, she wild. We're coming to the boat. As long as you don't come in the boat. Woo, Chihuahua. Ain't he wild one, Blair? <laughs> Pretty when they jump, ain't they? Aren't they something? They are something. I never did really get into catching sailfish. That's just much, wonderful. But the more I catch, the more I like them. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good sized sailfish, too. That's a big one, boy. I'm impressed with those rods. I know that. Look how pretty, pretty. Now, Blair, I'm gonna try and do this by the textbook. And there's a certain way you want to line the uh, leader of these fish. I don't Look think you're ready. Fish. You want to do thumbs pointed to each other. That way you can fight him off of you if he tries to spear you in the face. Easy, Blair. Easy with him. He's a full grown one. That is a good size Atlantic sail in it. Yes, sir. Should be able to pull him back with that now. I got him, man. He's Thumbs. a cold one now, ain't he, brother? Yes, sir. Thumbs together. Thumbs together. Thumbs together. Just let him relax a little bit. He'll be okay. Just let him, let him, let him mad, be mad. You want to try to pull him up just a little bit? Yeah. Right. There he is, boys. A nice that sailfish. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All Beautiful. Right, put her in gear and get some water over her lungs. Yes, sir. Yeah. Try to hold them up straight like that and and, and get, get them swimming. They're not starving for oxygen because we haven't taken them out of the water. We just want to get that lactic acid burn up, you know, where he can move. Yeah, they'll stiffen up. I've had redfish do that yeah. before. Yeah. Woo! Caught it on a trout rod. Yeah, he's, yeah, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, he's he's coming around. For he's getting the color back. He's getting his color back. Feeling good. Man, what a I'm gonna try him, okay? All right. I'm gonna turn him loose. See you later, buddy. Thank you for a good fight. There he goes. Down to the deep. Very deep. That was incredible on the trout rod. <laughs> you know, it's always fun getting to fish with you, Black. Dude, it is a blast. Yeah, yeah. Always a blast fishing with you, Sam. Yeah, well. Uh, if y'all ever want to come down here and do this, who would you recommend them coming down? Uh, Greg Snyder's good. Ed Zayak's good. Uh, Young Pat Price, Daymaker's good. All those boys are real good captains. Well, cool beans. Get down here in the summertime. You can do exactly what you just saw us doing here today. We got a limited amount of time to catch one today. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed that sailfish footage because the more sailfish I catch, the more I enjoy going and targeting those things. They are just a blast and what a beautiful fish. And one amazing thing, caught it on the inshore rod. And that, my friends, was a fight and a half. Up next, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna have some more highlights from the 2013 season. Let's go then. All right. Woo! Good job, buddy. <laughs> it's a lot easier doing that on a flat boat. Yeah. 
Well, welcome back to the season finale of Addictive Fishing. I gotta say, our most awesomest, if that's a word out there, trip this year was down to the Tortugas with Chris Trossett and the Starbright crew from Starbright Products took us down there and uh, had three first on the show down there. Caught my biggest mutton and mangrove snapper, and also we had the biggest grouper on the show. But uh, <laughs> the one thing that really stands out is when I hooked the black fin on the new Flats Blue Fly Rod. Actually fought it around, and I mean around, a 62-foot Viking. One of the most awesome fights I've ever had on a fly rod. Hope y'all enjoy this one. Check this out. Come on now. Oh, oh, took a swipe at it. Come on back, come on back. Oh, oh damn, he was chasing it. Try sliding it. Really fast. There he is. There we got it. They just wanted it move a little. Yep. <laughs> I said don't move it and they wanted it to move. That's fishing though, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Oh, now we're into this one for a while. Wait till he realizes he's hooked. He's just right now saying, oh, something's not right. <laughs> well, he likes the front of the boat. I have to walk around the bow. That could be a little dangerous. I'm walking around a part of you. I'm going down. Okay, keep going, Blair. Got you in. Huh? Might have already got you in. Yeah. Alright. Woo! <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> it's a lot easier doing that on a flat boat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I got enough backing on here. He's only about 700 yards out there now. I think he went back to that last trip. Though. One to one, one to one, one to one, one to one. What I mean by one to one, folks, is one crank is one turn of the line in. Mm -hmm. Do you think you ought to go back to the back? Yeah, I think so. All right, move away. All right, back to it. That was a good venture up to the bow of the boat. Well, Wright McGill has absolutely done her job on this fly rod, I mean the fly reel. Fly rod too. But the, uh, it's the same fly reel they got best to show it, I cast that. All right, I saw that. Nice big arbor reel. Getting the job done. Yes it are for a 10 weight. <laughs> Looks like we got some clouds back around Key West, huh? I'm glad we're down here. Oh, you're kidding. I think they're calling for rain around the Keys. I should be back onto some fly line here in a minute. There it is. I feel a lot safer when the fly line's on there. Well, there's the fly line back. Oh, there it goes. Feet. 100 feet to go. Well, we only walked 122 foot around this boat. <laughs> More of a jog. <laughs> well, at least that's how much Gregor said it was. <laughs> Gregor Dornow, part of the Starbright crew out here today with us. Over the next four days, 
And if this is just the first four hours, I can't wait to see what else you got in store for me. Well, we got a few more uh, special spots to go to. So. Uh, we're getting pretty close, Blair. I believe so. I think I'm seeing some color down there. Might be a little flat. Uh-oh. Uh there he is. See? We got some color. It's dark. There he is. A nice golden black color. Ooh, that's a good one too. Here he comes, brother. Wow. That's a workout. All right. All right. Well, he liked that orange fly too, didn't he? What an absolute beautiful fish. Absolutely, you wanna get that fly out of there? We'll let this guy go. That circle hook does him right. Unbelievable. Well, there's your black fin tuna right there. And I talked earlier about how they tuck their peg fins into the side here. You say, well, how do they steer themselves? And they use the scopes back here to steer themselves as they're going through the water. But we're gonna to toss this dude back in. Well, y'all see why I kind of said that, made up a word for that fight. That was one of the most awesome fights I've ever had on a fly rod. All the way around that big boat, it was an absolute blast. One thing killer about that whole trip, before we ever left, we set up another trip for next year, and we might even have Chris's dad, R.T. Trossett, fishing with us. And if y'all know R.T., he is world famous. Up next, Bill Dance made him famous, and uh, I guess it's the most requested part of the whole show. Y'all get to see him. Y'all better stay tuned for this one. Let's go then. You know, every year we snorted. <laughs> everybody gets to see me mess up. <laughs> well, welcome back, folks. You know, everybody makes mistakes on the boat. Unfortunately, mine happened to get caught on by that thing right there called a camera. And uh, it's the most requested part of the whole show from our season finale, so here you go. Here's the bloopers. Hope you enjoy them. That's about the perfect eating size, right? <laughs> you can stay in touch with us on Twitter. No, we don't tweet. The floor American fish. Oh, God dang it. There's one. Say, you don't hit them with your purse, do you? <laughs> okay, we tweet. You can stay with us on Twitter, uh, Google Plus, uh, all those sites. Come on. You oh. ate it? Oh, oh God. 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 Yow. That hurts. Up at the camp. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome back to Biz. Otherwise known. Listen. Canal tuna. Yeah, it's about the same. Ah. You know, every year we snorted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some more footage from the drive. What we're doing here today, Miss. <laughs> well, y'all's last chance to catch something right here. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's show. It was the season highlights from 2013, and I tell you, it was one of the best years we ever had. Got a lot of people I want to thank out there today. Without our sponsors, you know, we would not be here. So sponsors, thank you very much for all the support for all the years we've been out here. Mr. Producer Man, Kevin McCabe, I've known the guy since the second grade. He's the one that makes the show look and sound so good. His wife, Patrice McCabe, she's the one that runs the business kind of holds everything together. And I especially want to thank my wife for putting up with me and the show here for 14 years and all the fishing stuff in the garage. One thing you notice, we're standing on a seawall right now. We're waiting for one of our new sponsors to finish building our new Skeeter boat. So that's one of our sponsors we got coming next year. Got a couple more we're gonna show you. You can stay in touch with us. We're on Google Plus, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, Instagram. Any way there you can get in touch with us, you can stay right with us. Also, if you want to come out and see us, if we don't see you on the water, come find us at your local dicks where we're doing a grand opening or an appearance. We'll see you there. Till next year, y'all keep your lines tight. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Label Seaguar Fluorocarbon just because we were if I'm throwing for, for us in a week's year time, okay. I'm going to show you.
segment. I didn't know I was going to do that. Next segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Sam. Captain Sam. I'm going to show you what we were using out there.